Now, before I get going with this lecture, there's a couple of things that I want to say, a couple of really key points. Now, the first one relates to taking courses. So many people take courses, not just my courses, but any course, and they're very happy to listen to all the lectures, but they never actually take any action. You know, if you want to make a better life for yourself, build a really successful business, which of course is exactly what I'm teaching you here, you need to take action. You need to just start. Now, the other thing that I firmly believe is that anybody can build a successful business. I know that a lot of people listening to this course have never started a business before, and it might seem quite daunting. Hopefully you're starting to see that it's perhaps uh, much more possible than you thought it was even say half an hour ago. But I firmly believe that anybody can create a really successful business with the right tools, with the right education, which of course is exactly what you've got here. Now, at the same time, it's just human nature to have doubts. We all do, right? We second guess each other. We make excuses for perhaps not starting, whatever it might be, okay? That's normal. But I would really encourage you to just start. Just start in the simplest possible fashion, whatever it might be, but just get going and then try to maintain some kind of momentum. It's much better to do 15 minutes every day than to try and do two hours on a Saturday, something like that. You'll be amazed if you just start doing 15 minutes every day, how much you can actually achieve over time. You'll look back in a month's time and go, wow, I can't believe how much I've done and that I've now got myself uh, um, on the cusp of having a really fantastic business here. Okay, so really that's, uh, that's just sort of from my heart. I hope you can feel that. I'm really saying that from a passionate point of view because I really, really want you to succeed. I also want to say that, and you've probably figured this out now already, that this course is not about me building the most perfect Shopify store for you to copy, all right? What I'm doing here is I'm giving you the knowledge, the education that you need to do it for yourself. I'm giving you all of the tools so that you can go away and create yourself a fantastic business, okay? So I'm not spending a huge amount of time delving into every single detail. I'm giving you what you need to know and then it's up to you to run with it. It's up to you then to go ahead and make it happen. Okay, let's actually get into what this lecture is about. And it's gonna be about themes, okay? Themes, you might remember this when I was talking a few lectures ago, is the look and feel of your store, okay? My analogy then was to say, when you're walking down the street in the real world, let's say, you see a shop window, that's the kind of presentation of that person's business. In our virtual world, that's our theme. We can play around with the look and feel of our store. Now, I'm sure you remember, if you go down to the online store and click on themes, then this is where it's all going to start to happen. So you can see here that we have the current theme, which is Dawn, okay? That is basically the, the theme by default that we get with Shopify. Now you see this bit here, these images here, where it says image banner, etc. If I open up the online store, you can see that this image here is this image here. That's because we are currently using the Dawn theme. Now, as I also said a few lectures ago, we can edit all of this. And that's exactly what we're gonna start doing now. So this is a very exciting part of the business. We're actually gonna start changing the look and feel of the store. And once again, you're gonna see how simple it is, it is to use and how it is all point and click. The other cool thing is that um, once you've learned this skill that I'm about to teach you, you can apply it to any other theme. So just to clarify, there are many, many themes with Shopify. I'll show you that in a bit. There's not just the Dawn theme, there's a zillion others, okay? Depending on the look and the feel and the type of business that you might want to build. And you can swap themes out at any time as well. So should you build something with the Dawn theme and then in a month's time think, do you know what? I don't like this anymore or it's not really representing my business. You can very easily come and swap out for a new theme. Don't worry, you're not gonna lose tons of work or anything like that. You can very easily swap out the theme for a whole new look and feel for your store. So what do we need to do next? Well, if we're going to customize our theme, what we need to do is to click on this customize button here. So when I click on the customize button, you will note that it opens up a whole new editor, which is the theme editor, as I'm sure you guessed. This is where we're going to edit our theme. This is where the magic is going to happen. Now, what you have here is a live editor. 
So what that means is that when you make changes, and we're going to do that in this left hand menu here, I'm going to show you this in a moment. When you make changes to this, you're going to see those changes automatically represented over here. This is a live editor. You can see up here it says live. So this is fantastic. As we do the development, we see exactly how it's going to look on our store before we decide to publish it. So it really is very, very powerful. The other thing that's really powerful is that Shopify gives you what's called a responsive theme by default. And the responsive theme means that your site will automatically look great on any platform. So whether it be desktop, mobile, tablet, etc., it will respond. It's a responsive theme. It will fit to those different platforms. And you can see that up here in this little logo. So here, if I click on this, you can then see how it's going to look under mobile and desktop. So if I click on mobile, this is how it would look on a mobile phone. And then I go back to desktop. OK, so very straightforward. But as you go through your development, you'll want to have a look now and again to make sure everything does look like it should on mobile, because a lot of people at the end of the day are going to access your store via mobile. Now, just before I get into the detail, we can, of course, at any time come out of this simply by clicking on this exit button up here. Let me just do that. I go back to where I was before. But of course, I got a lot more to show you. So let's click on the customize button again to get back to where we were. OK, let's start off by having a closer look at how this left hand menu behaves. So as I go down here, uh, you're going to see if I hover over this, this is the image banner. If I come down to rich text and watch the right hand side here, it immediately brings me to the rich text part of this page. If I scroll down here to feature collection, it brings me to the feature collection stage. If I go to collage, all right, I think you get the idea. So this is how I can navigate any section very, very easily. I can also switch things off very easily. So if I stay here on collage, for example, you'll see this little eye. If I click on that, I basically remove collage. It's no longer there. If I wanted it, I'll just click it back, of course. And then I can move anything as well. So I can grab this little hand here, those little dots, and I could move this thing to anywhere that I want. Now, what I want to do here first is to add in that logo that we created a couple of lectures ago. And in order to do that, I need to go up to the header. So if I scroll over header here, you can see that within the header is my logo and also the menu. All right. If I click into the header, therefore, you're going to see here some options that are going to allow me to upload a logo. So we've got here logo image. So what I can do then is click on change and then click on select image. And then what I can do is go and find that logo that I created and I can then upload it. So what I'm going to do is exactly that. I'm just going to go and find it on my laptop. OK, I'm going to upload it and I'll see you in a moment once I'm done. OK, I'm back. I basically just selected the logo from my laptop. And as you can see, it's sitting here and it's now added it into my site. I now have that logo, the dog adorers sitting there. So if I now come down here and select that, right? So here it is. And then I could do things like change the logo width, for example. So I could grab this little button here and make it wider. Now, I think you probably agree that is a bit too wide, so I'll drop it down a little bit to something like 110. That ought to do it. OK, so very simply, I've now got my logo on my site. And given that I'm happy with that now, I want to click on save up here in the top right hand corner. OK, so that's now saved. So just to show you this, that things are really happening in real time, let's just go back to the store. And let's refresh it and we should see our logo. So we refresh it and there we go. There's our logo. OK, so things really are happening as we do them within this theme editor. So given that we're happy with that, what we need to do then is to come out of the header. And the next thing I want to focus on is this section here. OK, you can see it's called image banner. And so if I click on image banner over here, then I can start to play with this area. Now, the first thing I want to do is therefore to change this image. OK, we just got this placeholder image here and I talked about images a few lectures ago and you might now have chosen some images for your site. What I did is I actually went and bought a nice image, which I think really nicely portrays the site. So in order to change this cover image, what I need to do is to go over here where it says first image, 
click on select image and then upload the image itself. So I'm going to go and find that on my PC and I'll see you back here once I'm done. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I've now uploaded that image, this uh, what I consider to be a lovely image of a girl cuddling a dog. So I like this one. So I must select it with the select button down here. Okay, and that's now my cover image. At this point, I'm going to save just to make sure everything is saved and all good. Right. Now, the next thing I therefore want to do is to change this image banner. Okay, I don't want the word image banner anymore. So if I click on this, then it takes me straight to the place where I can start to play around with this text. You can see image banner over here. So let's change this and simply write, uh, come and visit our store. Okay, not very original, I, I agree. But once again, I'm just showing you how to do these things. So now I've got come and visit my store. So let's save that again as well. And then what I'd like to do is to change this text where it says give customers details about the banner images, etc. Right. So if I click on this, guess what? Over here, it takes me immediately to the place where I can start playing around with this text. And then just in the interest of time, I've prepared some text, which is this. OK, explore a fantastic collection of dog products. So I realize this lecture is going on a bit long, so I'm actually going to split this into two. OK, so we'll see you in the next lecture where we'll carry on immediately from where I am now.